You get any others opened a showroom. He's gone and opened his own business now. Wow. So you get to become a big businesswoman now, huh? I guess it would be best if I never ever mentioned anything having to do with Yigit. You always start pouting when I say his name. Daria doesn't even talk or look at me anymore. This is making me so upset. Honey, don't be angry. We're just trying to look out for you. Come on. I guess my mom must have forgotten her keys when she left for the bazaar. Give me a moment. Oh. How are you? Good. Come on in, I'm having some tea. Are you by yourself? Yeah, my mom is out. Come, come, come. Shame on you, Sybil. You said that nobody else was here. Oh, come on, as if Kubra was a stranger? Don't be ridiculous, Daria. Whatever, Sybil. Enjoy yourselves. I'm leaving. Daria, have a seat. I'll go ahead and leave if you don't want to talk uh, to me. Uh, that's enough already. Why are you avoiding each other like children? Sit down, Daria. Everybody needs to get this off their chest. We're going to solve this right here, right now. This is really getting ridiculous, you know? Pardon me, but what are we solving, Sybil? Doesn't my word count for anything? Listen to me, girl. You don't understand where I'm coming from. I've never done anything for myself before, Daria. For the first time, I'm listening to my heart. And besides, Yigit has really changed. I swear to you that he truly loves me a lot. How has he changed, Kubra? Tell me how. How can you believe that this guy really loves you? Why is it so hard for you two to believe that someone could really fall in love with me, huh? Huh? Why is it, Sybil? Am I not worthy enough? We're only saying what we're saying because you deserve so much better than him, Kubra. <sighs> That's it, exactly. This isn't about you, honey. It's about Yigit. He isn't capable of falling in love. <sighs> All right. I guess you're right. But then who can, Sybil? Take you, for example. Didn't you break up with Amir the minute that you found a guy with more money than him? Pull yourself together, Kubra. And besides, what does Amir have to do with Come this? Come on, quit denying it. Do you really think we're that stupid? We've known that there's something between you and Amir. But you didn't even protect the relationship that you had. And what about you, Daria? What can we say about you? You were chasing after a kid. But you didn't even want to fight for him. You said that you didn't want a man who didn't want you, and that was that. So who are you two to be lecturing me about what love is and what it isn't? Stop right there, Miss Kubra. Nobody here is trying to talk about love to you. We're just worried about your well-being. Don't you know us by now? You're right. You two are my best friends. I've listened to everything you've had to say every day up until now. I haven't ever spilled your secrets. And I've never judged either of you two, no matter what you may have done. Now I'm happy for the first time in my life. But both of you have let me down. If this is what you think of love and friendship, then I don't want to know. See you. <laughs>